Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday and we don't really have that much going on right now but I haven't done like a vlog in a while I don't think so that's what I'm gonna do today I haven't eaten any breakfast or anything like that I actually just finished making my coffee so I'm gonna drink some coffee our stove is not working like our cooktop stove and then um, we don't have a microwave so it's not like I can like easily heat something up and eat um, it's either I have to make it in the air fryer or yeah I really only cook with my air fryer and um, I have a crock pot, but that's more for like dinners and stuff. I think I should try to make a, maybe I should try to find a recipe that cooks breakfast overnight. That would be really cool. <laughs> I actually just posted on my Instagram the other day. If you have any crock pot slash air fry recipes, let me know because I'm kind of running out of ideas. I just put the baby down to, for a nap. Macho is eating his snack. So yeah, like I said, not much is going on. I'm going to make some breakfast right now and then later, um, Robert's cousin is here from Miami, so he, he is, he's actually leaving today. So we might go take him to the airport later and maybe go eat some sushi out there. I do have a grocery order pickup for like between one and two, so I'll, I'll show you guys what I got for groceries. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I just finished putting everything in the baking pan. I did some eggs and then I mixed it with some heavy whipping cream so that it could be like a little bit more fluffier. And then I added onions, mushrooms, and then just some bell pepper. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. And I'm wasted on you. Here we are right underneath the stars. So let's get a little reckless getting pretty hungry so I don't want to wait for the eggs to bake so I actually just made a little snack I really don't know how well that's going to taste with some coffee but here we are we're gonna do it <laughs> I finished eating my snack and um, I will say that with the coffee wasn't the best so I actually didn't really drink that much coffee I just ate and now my coffee is really cold so I've been wanting to get one of those um, mugs that keep your coffee warm for like the whole day um i know the yeti has one but i just the yeti anything yeti is so expensive i cannot justify spending that much money on a coffee mug like i can't so um if you have any like dupes like cheaper um options for that cup let me know because um, this just it's not cutting it. It's not cutting it. I posted the empty house tour not too long ago and Nothing was in this house obviously, but since then we've pretty much fully furnished the whole house There's just like a couple things that I want to get but it's not like a necessity that I need it So that's why I haven't really gotten it yet the only room that I haven't really completely finished is Our bedroom of course. I always save us for last um, but we did just get our bed in and I wanted to show you guys because it's so beautiful. This is the bed frame that we got. I got it from Wayfair and surprisingly the shipping was amazing. I think I got it within less than a week for sure. It's wooden right here and then this is like a light brown color. And I really love how it's not too tall because we do have that window there and I didn't want to cover it that much. I was kind of scared how the light gray would work with our brown carpet, but it actually works out so, so well. I love it. And it's so affordable. It was like less than $500. So I will leave the link if you guys are interested because I did get a lot of people on Instagram messaging me like, oh my God, that's beautiful. I love it. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave it down below for you guys. The only thing I really need to get now is like a dresser and we still need to figure out that closet situation because I have nowhere to hang my clothes. I'm still in my PJs actually too. So I'm gonna change out of my PJs, get ready for the day or get dressed for the day. Um, and then I have a couple things that I wanna do for the house. I actually just ordered this 
workout set because I want to start working out. I have like no clothes to do that. So I actually just ordered a matching set from Amazon. This is the leggings and this is the sports bra. This is a size medium, I believe. And I swear these leggings, like, I don't even think it's going to fit one leg of mine. So I don't know. I guess, I guess we could try it on. Let's try it on. Okay. Um, wow. Talk about belly control. I do not look like this guy. Oh my god, this is so funny. Do you see that? <laughs> okay, um, so they fit. It's definitely a little bit tighter. I feel like if it was a large, I feel like it would be baggy like over here. And the length for me is actually perfect because I'm only 5... I'll give myself 5'1". I'm only 5'1". <laughs> And um, a lot of leggings are like, they always scrunch up at the bottom, but this one doesn't. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it definitely gave me that hourglass figure. Okay, so this is what that looks like on. Um, yeah, maybe I should have gotten a large. I don't really know, but it works. All right, so my timer just went off. I think the egg bake is ready, so I'm just gonna check it. It looks pretty done to me. Like the top is not like liquidy or anything like that, but I'm just gonna double check it with a fork. Let's see. Let's uh, try to cut a little piece. That's like butter on the top. Oh yeah, that's pretty done. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna let it cool down. So it's 2.30 now and I just got back from picking up my grocery order from Walmart. And I wanted to share a couple of the things that I got. Walmart actually had pretty much everything that I had ordered. I usually try to buy organic fruits and I think they only had like regular fruits, so that is pretty much the only thing that they subbed out for me. So I got some chocolate chip protein waffles for Macho. He loves chocolate chip waffles, and this is, I think, just like a healthier version than the ego, than the uh, Ego one, so I got that. I got some frozen blueberries. I got, um, I've never tried these before, the sweet potato slices, but I'm gonna try doing this with some avocado toast instead of using the bread. And we have these grilled zucchini slices. I've never tried this. I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet, but it looked really cool, so I got it. And then behind here, we have these veggie fries, zucchini, garlic, and parmesan. Um, again, never tried these before, but it looked really cool, so I got it. I got a big thing of, I think this is chuck roast. I'm gonna be making Mississippi roast in the crock pot for dinner sometime this week, so I got that. I got these chips, they're veggie chips, cheddar flavored. Um, I've never got these before, but I hope, but I'm hoping the kids might like them, and if not, maybe I'll like them. But they're air dried, never baked or fried, plant based made with real veggies. Um, the, the ingredients are pretty good too, so I'm excited to try those. And then we got some pepperoncini, if that's how you call it, if, if that's how you say it, I'm not sure, but this is gonna go with my chuck roast. We got some pickle chips because Macho has been loving these lately, I know it's so random. We got another bag of these, and I got some of these banana and sweet potato pancakes um, for Xavier. I, I know for a fact Macho is not gonna like these, so <laughs> these are for Xavier, um, and they have really good ingredients in it as well. Got some beef broth. This is for my Mississippi roast over here, so that is gonna go for that. I got some kiwis. The baby has been loving kiwis lately, so I got that. We got another snack. We've got some organic chickpeas snacks. These are vegan white cheddar puffs. Um, these are actually really, really good, and they have good ingredients too. So we've got a big cucumber. I'm gonna be making like a cucumber tomato feta cheese salad with that. Um, we've got some strawberries, some fruits. I got strawberries, raspberries. I just got some butter. Um, we've been eating some creamer, so I got creamer. Then I got these things. This is for Xavier. He's never tried these before, but these are really good. Um, it's like a really good snack and it has good ingredients too. Um, everything's like organic and like natural, so I'm hoping he would like these. And then over here, I got um, the same thing, just a different flavor. So the other one was like strawberry. This one is blackberry. I got some bananas for Xavier, some potatoes for Xavier, and um, again for Xavier. But I, I uh, got some of these 
seaweed snacks. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I got these, but I'm always open to like let him try anything. And he's really good with eating like weird stuff. So I don't know. Maybe he'll like those. And then I got some of these Lara bars. They're chocolate chip cookies. I want to try these because there's no artificial sweeteners. It's gluten free and only eight ingredients, which is like amazing. So hopefully Macho would like these. Macho actually picked these out when we were grocery shopping on my phone, but um, he was like, I want pickle chips. So he actually picked out these chips and then actual pickle chips. So yeah. And then the last thing for my order is some of these diced green chilies. So I always make like a white bean chicken chili. It's such an easy recipe that I always like to have the ingredients on hand if I don't really feel like cooking some one day or it's just so easy to put together. So I always usually like to um, grab the ingredients while I can because it's basically all like canned stuff anyway. So this stuff doesn't go bad. Walmart actually like put together like a little um, goodie bag, like as a thank you or something like that for doing grocery pickup. So this is everything that they put in there. And I actually really love whenever they do this because I, they always put like some new stuff in here. It's really cool. All right, so the first one is this caramel macchiato cereal. Okay, that's different. I've never heard of that before. We got some twisted pretzel sticks seasoned with I don't even know, but that looks good. Some type of pretzels. We got some Trident Berry Gum. That looks super good. We got this Myers Hand Soap. A sample of it, that's cute. And then we got some Ritz Cheese Crispers. This looks really good too. And then we have a chip bag, a chip clip. Really, really nice. What is this? Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Say hi. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. What do you see? What do you see? What? You want to try these? Oh, I think he's showing an interest to these things. Does that look good or what? Do you want one? This guy has been a little sleepy head today. <laughs> he took like a three hour nap this morning and then he woke up. We went over to... <laughs> we went over to my mother-in-law's house. We had some lunch there. And then I left to go get my Walmart order. And on the way home, he was sleeping the whole time. And he just now woke up. Let's see if he likes these things. You wanna try it? This is his first little squeeze pouch. He's never had one of these before. But he's doing good, like knowing like how to suck it out and everything. I remember when Macho was a baby, he would eat like four of these applesauces every single morning. All right, I'm gonna put these groceries away and we're gonna get on with the rest of our day. This little guy right here is his favorite thing to play with. Oh, and then he has these blocks that he's gotta put inside. Look at him. What are you gonna do with that? Eventually he just knocks that thing over flat. Let's see if he'll do it. Look at that little brain working. He's so cute. There we go. <gasps> you did it, good job. Here, let me see you do that one. Put it through the hole. Here, look, put it through the hole. Uh-oh, you gotta try again, try again. Try with this one. Yeah, put it here. You did it, good job, bud. Come on, bud. All right, so I just got this rug in from Rugs USA. I'm about to lay it in the room. Um, I actually switched the baby in Macho's room, so this used to be the nursery, now it is Macho's room. I just figured his bed was was too big for that room before, 
So I moved it in here and it just looks a lot better. And this rug was also or originally for the nursery too, but um, I just think the colors look uh, work better in here. So I'm just gonna get a different rug for his room. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. This is how I just have it for now, and um, I I don't I really don't know how I'm supposed to lay this here. I don't know which way it would look good, so it's gonna stay like this for now. So we actually just got back from Tulsa, and it is <clears throat> it is 9:30 at night. I meant to vlog while we while we were out, but I left my camera here while we were in Tulsa taking Rob's cousin to the airport. We um grabbed a bite to eat we just had some pizza that was by the airport and then we went over to the gathering place the giant park that they have there so that the kids could just run around a little bit before our hour drive back home and it was a lot of fun the kids loved it macho always loves whenever we go there and xavier loved crawling around he actually had a really good time too rob is actually bathing macho the baby is already sleeping he fell asleep in the car so I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I know I talked about doing like crock pot and air fryer recipes. Um, I did ask on my Instagram for your favorite recipes. If you guys have any suggestions or anything that I should try, let me know because I am in the market for new recipes. <laughs> I feel like I search it on, on Pinterest so many times that I kind of just keep seeing the same thing over and over again and I'm like kind of bored of Pinterest for recipes. So definitely leave some down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.